give up. It's not working. Okay, all right, let me think here. I don't think that this is going to turn out well. Maybe I'll try this painting again. And by maybe, I mean, I probably like won't ever do it again. <sighs> yeah, this video turned out to be something so different than what I thought it was gonna be. You know, it's like at least finish what you started. Like if you give up, you then you really will be probably disappointed. You're really not gonna like it if you don't finish it. So you might as well just finish it. Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Lady Literacy, where I like to share all of my thoughts with you about books. Today I wanted to paint while I was listening to an audiobook. I'm currently trying to finish Kingdom and Ash by Sarah J Mass. And so because I want to have something to do while I'm listening to the book today, I decided that I wanted to paint something. And I've just really been loving the Throne of Glass series and I really like Sarah J Mass's writing. So I thought it would be fun to paint something that's related to the book. And I'm choosing between two paintings. One of them is a quote from the sixth book. There's a quote that is often said between two characters, I am here, I am with you, and it's it's a really sweet thing that is happening between these characters when it's happening in the story. Sorry, trying not to spoil anything. And so I thought it might be really awesome to paint that quote. There's like a really cool painting that I saw. But also I saw someone like had kind of created a digital version of the book stacked on top of each other and then put a mug on top that says survivor of mass destruction and i thought that was kind of fun too so i think i'm going to paint that first i have this canvas and it's really dirty but you know no one's going to know that because i'm going to paint over it now the painting that i'm going to paint right now um the background is gray which i think looks really ugly i would kind of like it to just be white however the mug is white and so then i'd have to change the color of the mug so right now I'm just kind of trying to decide what background I want. I also bought some stencils since I have a really hard time with lettering. Since the books are gonna be stacked on top of each other, I'm gonna have the titles of the books on the spine. So here are some letters. These letters, which are kind of similar. These, which are, it's like more calligraphy looking. So I like them all. I like that these are separate though, and it seems like you can peel it off and then stick it on and paint it so it might create less smearing because these all the letters are stuck together i also bought these like paint markers because i thought it might it might be a little bit easier because once again when you're using stencils it's like then when you take the stencil off the paint can smudge and i really don't want that to happen so i also bought these markers and i bought a white one in case that might be a better color to use for the titles on the spines i think i'm going to paint the background white but then i guess i'll have to paint the mug a different color I'm not sure what color I'll do that yet, but that's kind of future Nicole's problem. Current Nicole just has to paint this canvas white. Okay, I've painted the entire canvas white. You probably can't tell because it already looked white, but uh, I had to paint it white. The canvas, it, it just looks different, you know, having painted it white versus keeping it just like the canvas material. Other thing was it was really dirty, so I had to paint the background something. Now I'm gonna start painting the books and then the mug. So I guess I'll have to figure out what color the mug is gonna be. Alrighty, so the spines are a little bit lighter than the top of the book, like they're, they're the picture has done like some darkening and shadowing, so I'm also gonna try to do that. So I've painted all the books. I kind of low key hate how it looks, but I'm gonna go in and kind of like trace over it so that maybe it like looks a little more artistic and takes away the attention of like how, how imperfect it really does look. Okay, so 
so I feel like tracing it definitely helped, but then I added these lines for the pages, like the bookends, and I think that looks really bad. So I'm gonna paint over that light. Ugh, this took me so long. Well, now that I've painted that as basically as good as it's gonna be done, uh, I have to figure out the color of the mug and then I can start doing the titles of the books. Okay, well at this point, other than like painting the, the end pages like white again, um, now I have to write the titles on there. So I don't know, this black marker was doing really well and then all of a sudden it stopped working. It's like, I think it's because I like used it on wet paint. So now it's just like not gliding very well. So I'm probably gonna have to use a paintbrush for the titles of the books. I'm gonna start looking at the stencils that I have and I'm going to be painting just like flat down. So it might be a little bit harder to see what I'm painting. I don't know if you can tell, but that did not go very well. It's all messy. So I wonder if what I'm gonna have to do is, like I said, like use marker. Ugh, I don't wanna give up. Also, these are all capital letters. I don't think I can fit the Assassin's Blade on here. <laughs> I worked really hard on this and it's just not, it's just not working. These stencils, they're just not working. Like that blur on the orange is supposed to be a C. Everything looks messy and I could maybe get on board with like the messiness down here, but for all of it to just be that messy, I don't know what to do. Okay. All right. Let me think here. I don't think that this is going to turn out well at all. Like I really don't like it. I, I thought maybe I could salvage it, but it's not working, which is like literally heart-wrenching. So I don't want this video to be totally pointless. Therefore, I think I'm going to turn this painting into the other one that I liked. Okay, so sometimes things just don't work out how you plan them to work out. So I'm going to completely cover this up and I'm going to paint the other painting. That way I don't waste the canvas. And now I know that I, you know what? I learned some things from this one. I learned that it's really hard to paint books um, with different like angles. I should have like penciled it out first. Two, you can't use the, um, the letter stencils with paint unless maybe you were spray painting it so that the paint is thin enough that it doesn't seep in underneath the cracks and spread to make a mess. If I wanna use the stencils, I should use pencil and then use permanent marker to color them in. Maybe I'll try this painting again. And by maybe, I mean, I probably like won't ever do it again. I'm gonna go back, back to starting. The nice thing about the background I'm gonna do on this one is it's really easy and it should cover up most of this. Basically to make like a Kind of like a galaxy looking background you can use a sponge or you can just take a paper towel and like crumple it up and then you just like blah 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 all over the place honestly i don't have any kind of technique i'm just gonna start I rest my phone on my like um like a stand and then I was using it on my phone it kept falling so I just decided to finish it on my own 
Uh, it's like really not perfect, but it, I don't really care. I'm gonna paint the edges black in a little bit and then I'll paint the quilt. First, I wanna wash off my hands. All I did was just use paper towel and just constantly mix colors over and over and over again, which is why my fingers look like this. I do wanna say that I feel like with my fingers like this, I look like I could like craft magic like the witch from WandaVision because her fingers, her fingers get all purple and stuff. So yeah. Wow. Now that my hands are a little bit more clean, um, what I'm gonna do is paint the edges. I have to let it dry a little bit before I can like actually paint the quote on it. Okay, now that it's mostly like dark and all different colors, now all I have to do is get some white, water it down, and then basically kind of like lick the paintbrush against my hand and it will like create stars on there. There's already like some white in there and I don't know if that's just because I was like with the paper towel, like it might've been peeling up the paint that I was putting down, revealing some of the white that had dried beneath. Um, I actually think that that's what was happening is it was like peeling up the paint. So there's already some white in there because of that. marker uh i'm not using the stencils at all i'm just gonna free ball it is free ball it a phrase i'm gonna wing it is what i mean i found a piece of chalk which by the way took forever and i've made a mess in the process so ignore the closet um and so now <laughs> that looks so messy so now i just have to find i have to like try to stencil this out so that is what i'm gonna try to do so here's the eye i'll do that part Kind of goes like that. Oh, no, that's like an L. I hate it so much, <laughs> but oh well, oh gosh. All of the little swoopies I guess are filled in, so maybe if I fill those in. You know, it's like at least finish what you started. Like if you give up, you then you really will be probably disappointed. Like you're really not gonna like it if you don't finish it, so you might as well just finish it. Yep, there, this has been such a messy painting day. The good news is I was able to use that marker for the print that it's by Sarah J Mass and it's from Kingdom of Ash. And um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna hang this up on my wall. I might hang it up, I don't know. I just don't like it. For those of you who are still here, thanks for watching the video. I hope you guys find something that you wanna read soon. Maybe don't paint this um, and I will see you guys next time. If you're looking for a video recommendation, then check out some of my other videos where I talk about books that I've loved um, and also check out Throne of Glass, the Throne of Glass series. I've really, really, really been enjoying it. So that's why I decided to paint something inspired from Throne of Glass. It didn't go very well, but that's okay. Um, I'll see you guys next time and thanks for watching.